I don't know any. Tell me something. Tell me something. I was born a girl in the wrong place. Try the fish dumplings. Vegetarian, Dad. But it's New Year's. It's a pleasure to cook you Chinese food. Ru was especially excited. No, Ru? I can call the GP. I, I trip, that's all. What's this? Glutinous rice balls bring you good luck. No meat. Your parents cook Chinese food for you? No. Very strange. Dad. They're English? Born here? Yes. Manchester, London. A little town. Where? Froome. Froome. Southwest of England. Very English. <laughs> Very nice. We should let her chew. <clears throat> Different from the north, the south is. How are you liking Echoes so far? She's been an hour, Dad. Good view from the bus. You're breathing loudly. I, it's hot. They never taught you Mandarin. Dad. No. Very strange. Dad. So strange. Dad. Strange for Chinese people. They're not Chinese. Chinese, British Chinese. You can't lose your culture. I'm adopted. Ru, I... I look Chinese, but my brain is totally British. I'm so very sorry. For what? That must have been hard, growing up. We took quite the fall when we entered the flat. Have you searched for your birth mother? There is this one memory or oh, dream. I'm bathing in a small kitchen sink, water flowing constantly. Mother's humming a tune as the water gets higher and too high reaching my nose and then my eyes, I start to struggle. I can hear my mother crying. She picks me up and she sings something like, Underneath the blossom tree. Stop! You are embarrassing us. Crying and clinging onto our guests. What is the matter with you? The, the singing, the memory that really happened. I know this is going to sound bishy. Don't you see? I have this. She was adopted. She's 20 years old. No. No, no, no. The first time I saw her, I immediately felt like I see my grandma. A young, fleshy ghost sent a chill down my spine. She looks nothing like her. Ah, you left. She ran out of the house. It's cold outside. Go after her. Explain. Your mother is not well. Do you remember what I would sing to her? Please tell me you do. I would sing it loudly. Something like... Oh, no, that's not it. I, I, I sing it over the, the TV and radio was constant in China. Interferences, notices telling us over. I would sing it to calm because over and over, one child, one child. Xi An, it's the stress of New Year's. Aya is our daughter. Enough! You can't just impose an idea because she's an adopted Chinese girl. There are millions of Chinese girls who are adopted. There is more than just one. You made me. No, that's you not fair. You made me give her no, up. No, that's not fair. I was forced. You begged me for a son. Have you forgotten? With two, the risk was too great. You said we had to choose. I couldn't. You chose. You chose our son. Do you remember?
sorry. This hurts me as much as it hurts you. But we had to follow orders. We had no choice. We've been through this over and over. She was stolen. Please. We could have found our child and brought her here. We tried and it nearly killed us. We have a good life here, a great life here in the UK. Leave the past behind. Ru, please. Look at me. You see? I carry the past. I love you. There was a woman at the baby box. What, what woman? At the back of the orphanage. She was trying to... She told me she found 28 baby girls tied up in black plastic bags. One of them had already suffocated to death. They were going to be sold or... Please. I was scared. As soon as I left her in that box, I wanted to go back, but then the police officer came and arrested me. He made me open the box and it was empty. That woman stole my baby. Maybe she was a human trafficker like the others. You can't imagine the pain, the guilt. Three days later, you pick me up from the clinic, beaten and they cut. The scar is all that's left. You never mentioned any other woman. I was going to go back. They stole everything. My baby, my body for the sake of China. And here she is. My daughter, grown up at our dining table. It's a sign. She returned. He's back. They're back. And you're too manic. No. You leave me no choice. I don't need those. You're relapsing. No, I won't. I, I'm in control. Just listen. We can ask for a DNA test. Explain why. I forbid it! She has your eyes. Do you want me to get our son? I lose a sense of who I am. I am. It's temporary to calm you, please. No! Mama, I'm sorry that having a guess was maybe too much for you. No, my boy, nonsense. I love you here. I think we need to leave. No. No, please stay. Is she scared? I would like her to stay. Let her stay. Ma, I need you to take your medication. My son, I am okay. Sleep and we can eat and celebrate later, just... I need you to take your medication for me. You should listen to your son. I'll get some water. Mama. I love you, Mama.
Underneath the blossom tree, my darling, there was no hand for me. Fiery ground and black skies, vast oceans where my future lies. My mom was nowhere to be found. Years till my feet touch some ground, a finger touch, or warmth escaped. Craving mama's blood embrace. Mm -hmm. Tell me a story. A Chinese story. I don't know any. You do? You have to close your eyes. Breathe. Can you sense it? Yes. Salt and sweet like tea. Yes. Tell me the story. The Chinese story. Long ago, in the Shang Dynasty, there was a wild woman who would run barefoot across high mountains to find the sweetest lychee tree. The tree perched dangerously the edge of a mountain cliff that dropped straight down to the Yellow Sea. The villagers said she was a beautiful woman possessed by an evil spirit for she would wear loose clothing, untie her long hair, and look men right in the eye. Her wild presence and lack of obedience angered the villagers. One day, at dusk, as she climbed the mountain to her lychee tree, men from the village followed her. At nightfall, they watched as she climbed to the tree and sang across the golden sea lit by the moon. La, 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 la. la, la. As she sang, the men set alight the base of the tree, trapping her at the top. They taunted her, shouting for her to jump, knowing she would break her legs. They explained it was for her own good, to rid the evil spirits. Of course, there were no evil spirits, just cruel men. She looked up at the moon pleaded with it to help her, but the moon did not reply. She shouted at the wind to help her, but it howled ignorance. She asked the tree to hold its strength, but it cracked under the licking flames. She climbed as high as she could, and once feeling the hot flames on her skin, jumped from a high height plunging down the cliff edge towards the sea. The sea took pity on her. The sea understood her actions not as dishonorable, but of a free spirit like the waves, and so transformed her into an octopus when she reached the seabed. Grateful, she vowed to serve the sea for a thousand years against anyone who disrespected them. She would lure ships with her song, strangling fishermen with her long tentacles. In return for her thousand year service, the sea made her a god, free to walk eternity, answering prayers of women who seek awakening. Do you see me? I am a monster. 
I, your god, come with me. Where? Everywhere and nowhere. Mmm. -hmm. 